Hello everyone, welcome to this video from Welcome Aboard channel. Today we want to go through Isfahan, where it is, and um, some of its cultures as one of the cities in Iran. Isfahan is a major city in Greater Isfahan region. It is located 252 miles south of Tehran, and it is the capital of Isfahan province. Isfahan is located on the main north-south and east-west routes crossing Iran. It is similar to Denver in the United States in terms of altitude and precipitation. Isfahan has a population of approximately 1.9 million, making it the third largest city in Iran, after Mashhad and Tehran, and the second largest metropolitan area. Isfahan is famous for its Perso-Islamic architecture, grand boulevards, covered bridges, palaces, and tiled mosques. Isfahan also has many historical buildings, monuments, paintings, and artifacts. The city enjoys a temperate climate and regular seasons. Okay, so now let's go over local foods of Isfahan. Chilo kebab or kebab with rice is a must. There are regional variations in Isfahan. Biryan is a popular and tasty lunch dish in Isfahan. Many visitors wrongly call it biryani, which refers to the place that sells biryan. This local dish is made of ship meat and long. Although it is generally known as a fatty dish, if you would like to try it, you may order a dietary one. Ferni and Shire. Ferni is a concoction of cereal, rice flour, water, and milk. Usually they mix it with date essence. Khorisht Mas is a popular dessert dish, only made in Isfahan. It is a sweet yellow pudding, which literally means yogurt stew. Saffron, meat, and yogurt are among the main ingredients. Dugo Gushfil is a strange combination of Dug, which is a yogurt drink, usually salty and sour, and Gushfil, which is kind of sweet. Now let's go over one hotel and one cafe in Isfahan, which are known for their unique features. Hotel Abbasi, the whole complex was built at the time of King Sultan Hussein of Safavi, about 400 years ago formerly known as the Mother's Inn Caravansary. It was built as a caravansary to provide lodging for travelers. Chahe Haj Mirza Would you have a coffee in a restaurant cafe remained from almost 400 years ago? It is not a cafe or a restaurant, but a wonderland. As you enter Chahe Haj Mirza, meaning Haj Mirza's well, you would stop step by step not to lose the beautiful object of this personal museum. More than a million antique and ancient tools are hanged there. It becomes a cafe since 1320 by Haj Mahmud Ali Haji, and now is directed by his sons. His ancestor was one of the Safavi eunuchs, that is why his last name is Haji, which means eunuch. He was an antique lover and collector that collects this wonderful object. Each one has a story and is a symbol of Persian culture. Naqsha Jahan Square, also known as Shah Square or Imam Square, 1602. The square contains two mosques, a palace, and a bazaar. The square is the largest historic public square in the world after Tiananmen Square in Beijing, and it is one of UNESCO's World Heritage Sites. The square is surrounded by buildings from the Safavi era. This is a very popular place for locals to picnic on Fridays and holiday evenings. Charbagh Boulevard, 1596, dating from the Safavi era, the avenue is the most historically famous in all of Persia. The stunning mosques of Isfahan are among the most beautiful and interesting in the world. Imam Mosque in Naqshijan Square, built during the Safavi period, 
It is an excellent example of Islamic architecture of Iran and regarded as one of the masterpieces of Persian architecture. It is registered as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Its splendor is mainly due to the beauty of its seven-color mosaic tiles and calligraphic inscriptions. Sheikh Lutfullah Mosque, one of the architectural masterpieces of Safavi Iranian architecture, this mosque is considered to be the most beautiful in Iran. Built in 1602 by Shah Abbas and designed by his chief architect, Sheikh Bahai. The mosque was designed to be a private mosque for the royal family and therefore it does not have any minarets. There is a tunnel from the mosque to the royal palace across the square. Hakim Mosque, one of the oldest mosques in Isfahan, built by Shah Abbas II between 1656 and 1662, located on the site of a 10th century mosque. The portal was covered in mud until it was discovered in 1956. The Royal Palace, early 17th century. It is 48 meters high and there are seven floors each accessible by difficult spiral staircase. In the sixth floor music room, deep circular niches are found in the walls having not only aesthetic value but also acoustic. It is rich in naturalistic wall paintings by Reza Abbasi, the court painter of Shah Abbas I and his pupils. There are floral, animal, and bird motifs. Chel Sutum, or the Palace of Forty Columns, 1647. There are 20 columns and these are reflected in the pool in front which might also account for its name. The function of this palace was for holding religious national ceremonies and royal festivals and for receiving royal ambassadors and guests. Walk along the Zayandarud River beside the ancient bridges. You see many locals doing this every day. However, as a result of a through and badly planned dam, there is usually no water in the river. Polish Shahristan, the Shahristan Bridge, 11th century. It is one of the oldest surviving bridges in Iran, built in the 14th century. Polish Khaju or Khaju Bridge, 1650. It is the finest bridge in the province of Isfahan. It was built by the Persian Safavi king Shah Abbas II around 1650. The structure originally was ornated with artistic tile works and paintings serving as a tea house. Siusepol, the bridge of 33 arches, 1602. It is highly ranked as being one of the most famous examples of Safavi bridge design. Polichubi, or Jui or Chubi Bridge. It is one of Isfahan's oldest bridges and was built in 1665 during the Safavi era. Wang Cathedral, the Church of the Saintly Sisters, 17th century. The interior is covered with fine paintings and gilded carvings and includes a wainscot of rich tile work. The delicately blue and gold painted central dome depicts the biblical story of the creation of the world and man's expulsion from Eden. Right above the entrance, there is an interesting fresco of heaven and hell with black and brown devils slaughtering white naked people who obviously sinned. To heaven go well-dressed, pious people with candles. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Bye-bye.